Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Trump to use PAC to quiet talk of rifts in White House. By Gabby Morong Yilo. Oxon Hill, Maryland. The Conservative Political Action Conference on Thursday will cheer the first Republican White House officials to attend the gathering in almost a decade. But many will also be watching to see if high-level Trump administration officials can put down rumors that they are having trouble working together. Conservatives who travel to the Gaylord Hotel on Maryland's National Harbor will be greeted by a generous lineup of President Trump's closest advisors, including White House Chief of Staff Rians Priebus, Senior Strategist Steve Bannon and Counselor Kellyanne Conway. They will also hear from newly minted Education Secretary Betsy DeVoe and Vice President Mike Pence. They will be followed on Friday morning by Trump, whose decision to skip last year's confab was categorized as a missed opportunity by PAC organizers. Scott Pruitt, the newest director of the Environmental Protection Agency and a figure scorned by the left, will close the three-day summit on Saturday. White House officials say their heavy presence at PAC reflects the president's desire to maintain a running dialogue with his supporters and share his blueprint for the next four years. We are always looking for ways to promote the president's message and agenda and PAC is a great platform to do that, one source told the Washington Examiner. But others confide that the administration is also seizing this opportunity to allay suspicions that senior White House aides are at war with each other. It's deploying them to deliver a single message to conference goers and to reporters who have cast Trump's inner circle as an ill matcher group of power seekers at war with each other. A lot of this is optics. It is to send a message that this administration is unified and has and to convey to folks who are on the front lines back home in their communities that President Trump is going to succeed in delivering on his promises, said Republican strategist Ford O'Connell. Thursday's joint panel with Priebus and Bannon certainly lends itself to that argument. Sources close to the administration have told multiple outlets that Trump's top two aides have locked horns on a number of issues since Trump took office, and were constantly at war with each other during the campaign and transition process. Both men have worked overtime to put an end to such rumors and claim they've originated from individuals outside the White House and critics of the current president. Thursday's panel will give Priebus and Bannon another chance to publicly refute such allegations, while providing thousands of conservatives with the opportunity to watch them interact outside of the West Wing. Moreover, the two men will be able to share how they are using their backgrounds, Priebus' establishment credentials, Bannon's populist vision, to create an agenda for all Americans. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.